Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing a Super Brace fork stabilizer on this 2007 Suzuki DRZ 400. The tools needed for this job are a 5mm Allen wrench, a 5mm Allen socket, a 12mm socket, a ratchet, a torque wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, and two plastic cable ties. Before we start, make sure you have the correct super brace for your year and make and model of motorcycle. The super brace is made in the USA from billet aluminum. It eliminates fork flex, improves stability, reduces front end wobble, and can improve the life of your tires. Place the motorcycle on a center stand if you have one. Otherwise, place a block of wood under the kickstand like we have here to get the bike vertical and make sure the front wheel is facing straight ahead. There are two axle pinch bolts on each front fork. You need to loosen these using a 12 millimeter socket, but don't remove them. The gator on the DRZ extends several inches below the top of the lower fork leg, which is where we need to install the super brace. So we're going to need to raise this gator so that we can do the installation. The bottom of the gators are held in place with a plastic cable tie, and this will need to be cut off. I used a pair of tin snips. Just be careful not to cut the bottom of the gator. With the cable tie removed, it's now easy to lift the gator off the bottom ring and slide it up over the fork seal, which is on the lower fork tube. And it's a good idea to clean off any dust or grime or dirt at this point before we install the super brace. Go ahead and disassemble the super brace by removing the four five millimeter hex bolts. Once the bolts are removed, you can separate the two halves of the super brace. Now we're ready to install the front half of the super brace on the fork tubes. Raise up the rubber gaiters and set the fork brace so that the machined edge of the fork brace sits down on top of the uh, fork tube as shown. Once you have that in place, then you can carefully put the back piece of the super brace in place so that it lines up with the front half. Now the back piece is the one with the holes in it for the bolts. Install the four 5mm bolts that hold the super brace together and hand tighten using a socket. Using a torque wrench, tighten each of these bolts to 10 foot pounds. Now pump your front fork several times to make sure nothing's in a bind. Now you can slide the bottom of the gator over the lip provided on the super brace to hold the bottom of the gator in place. Now, since we raised those fork gaiters up several inches, you'll notice that they're kind of scrunched up and they don't look very attractive. There are a couple of ways you can deal with this situation. What a lot of DRZ owners will do is they completely remove the gaiter. They just cut it off and they purchase something called a seal saver. And this is basically a neoprene sleeve that attaches to the fork tube to protect your seals and your fork tubes. They're very inexpensive, and they even make one now that zips up the side, so they're simple to install without having to remove the forks. We're going to do something really quick and easy. We're going to cut off part of the gator, zip tie it to the top of the fork. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the metal ring that holds the top of the gator in place. Here I'm counting down eight ribs, and that's where I'm going to make my cut on the gator, and basically just cut in between the ribs all the way around the rubber gator, and then we'll cut up through the top to remove uh, the top part of the gator. Now we can simply use a cable tie to secure the top of the gator to the top of the fork tube. The last step is to retorque your front axle pinch bolts to factory specifications. Mm -hmm. 